Hello everyone, we will continue the topic classical reports and in the previous videos we studied how to provide the column labels and yes, whenever you are going for labels, never never hard code in one language, always always use text symbols. Now we will proceed further and take additional requirements in classical report. Suppose I am running the program. I will give some input and this is the output. This output is in the form of a table. Means we have the rows and we have the columns. Now what customer is saying, I want clear boundaries. I want clear identification. This output is coming in the form of table. But I want a horizontal row after each and every record. And I want a boundary after each and every column. I want a vertical row after each and every column. This customer want a clear identification. If you see a table, yes, it's a clearly, clearly identifiable that these are the horizontal things. These are the vertical things. Suppose if I will show you the sample output, you will understand very easily. Suppose I'm running this program. I'm just giving the input and this is the output. Have you seen? We have clear, clear boundaries for the table. These are the vertical boundaries, vertical boundaries. And these are the horizontal boundaries, horizontal boundaries. So this is our topic. Whatever the output is visible, we need to go for specific boundaries. We need to create horizontal and vertical rows, vertical rows. Now we will go for this particular requirement. Now to achieve this in classical report, we will make use of two system variables and widely, widely used system variables. We all know system variable always, always starts with S, Y. So I will write the first system variable is Psi U line and the second system variable is Psi V line, Psi V line. It is a system variable for horizontal line, horizontal line. Or you can say whenever you want a continuous horizontal line, yes, always, always make use of this system variable Psi U line. And whenever you want a vertical line, you will make use of the system variable Psi V line. It's very easy to remember vertical line. Yes, U line, you can understand or you can learn in a way underline, underline. And you all know whenever we have a underline that is horizontal, that is horizontal. So it is a system variable for horizontal line. It is a system variable for vertical line. Now, what I will do? I will open this output. I will open this output as it is so that we can understand and we can write the logic very, very easily. So I will go to the program. This is our program. This is our program. And I will run this program also in a parallel session so that every time there is no need to just run, 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 run. In one another session, we will run and here I will write the code. Otherwise, we need to always run, then come back, always run and again come back. So this same program, I will run in a separate session also. So that code window will be as it is and we will simply, simply check the output. So what will be our first step? Firstly, we will go for 
these things. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Or other way I will say, we'll simply, simply go for vertical, vertical. Because this is vertical line, vertical line. So we will go for vertical line for the column labels, column labels. I'm not talking about data as of now. Firstly, we will go for vertical lines for the column labels. We will firstly do this part. Now, we all know the system variable for the vertical line is psi v line. So we'll firstly see. We have order number. Before order number, we want this vertical line, vertical line. This is your text 000. It is giving you an order number. Before this, you want vertical line. So I will simply write psi v line. Done. I will activate and I will keep this session as it is. Because every time we will run and come back, every time we will run and come back, it's better in separate session, we'll check the output so that we can understand how step by step it is going. It is, it is a best practice always. Whenever you are going for horizontal and vertical lines, always open or always run in a separate session. I'm running. So, okay. So, I'll just see. I'll just copy this and I will run this program. We'll give the input. And you can see now we have the vertical line. Now we have the vertical line. Now see what is the position. If we will see this first vertical line then we have a space two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen it means our full order number finished on 15th finished on 14th so now we can start our next thing from 15. it means we can start our next vertical line from 15th. Yes, we have the 15th. So from 15th position, we will start our vertical line. So from 15th position, we put a vertical line. I will activate up to this part. We'll go very slowly, especially in this. Now I will go back. I will go back. I will run this program again. I will give the input. Now you can see we have first thing is ready. Now we have a vertical line. Okay. So now we will see 15th vertical line started. Then we have a blank space 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, up to 26, our order date is finished. It means next vertical line, we can start from 27th. Yes, we have the next vertical line. It will start from 27th. Now, best way, I will... Always, always put enter after each and everything so that it will make our task easy. First column done, second column done, third column done. I will activate up to this level and we will see. I will run. Now, 27th vertical line, then we have a blank space, 28th. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So up to 40 payment mode is finished. So it means next vertical line will start from 41. Yes, we have the 41. Now maximum people will ask, 
you already gave the positions when you gave the label then why are you again counting because whenever we will go to the last this counting will play a vital role that's why i am again counting so from 41 line we will start a from 41 position we will start a vertical line now i will activate up to this level and i will show you you can now will simply simply run So now we have 41 position, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Yes. So up to 50, our currency finished. So we can start order item number or we can start the vertical line, vertical line from which position 51. So I will write 51. Sai V line. Okay, now I will activate up to this level and we will see the output. So now we have 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So up to 65, our order item number done. It means next vertical line, we can start from 66. 66 is there. Yes. 66. Sai V line. Comma. Now, from 66 line, this vertical line started. Now, we will check. Now, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. So our item cost finished till 76, 76. Now at the last, at the last, we bought a vertical line. We bought a vertical line. So how I will put a vertical line? It will so be six. It will. This item cost finished on 76. It means 77th position. It will be only, only vertical line. It will be vertical line. I'll put comma here. So our 77th position is vertical line. That's why I counted so that we can understand our last vertical line will be at what position. Now I will run. And you can see we have the last vertical line. So this part is completely done, completely. And what is the total? What is the total? Our last vertical finished at what? What is the total? 77, 77. Just see this output as of now. This hole, this hole and on 77. So if I bought this line, if I bought this line now, this will be which line? Horizontal line. And what will be the total length of horizontal line? It is 77, 77. That's why I counted so that we can understand what will be the full length of the horizontal line. Our each and every column accommodated in 77 so it means what is the length of this horizontal line 77 and how i will write this this horizontal line i'll just finish i'll just open yes so now this horizontal line this horizontal line is above these vertical line, above these vertical line, or you can say above this column label. So it means above this, we need to write psi u line. Yes, because this horizontal line is above the column labels. So it means we need to write above this column label. So how I will write psi u line. And what is the length total? 77, 77. 
your last last column finished on 77 i will check i will activate and i will run this program in a new session and i will show you the output up to this level now you can see we have a full horizontal line and what is the length of this horizontal line it is 77 now, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started how to give horizontal and vertical boundaries so that it will be clearly, clearly visible to us. So we took wood. We have two system variables. One is psi u line and one is psi v line. Psi u line is a system variable for horizontal line. And psi v line is a system variable for vertical line. Or you can understand u stands for under and v stands for vertical. By this way, we can learn. And we started giving the various boundaries. And in our current program, we gave the various boundaries. We gave the various vertical boundaries for the column label. And we gave a horizontal line using psi u line system variable. In the next video, we will continue with the rest of the part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.